hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel in this video today i'm gonna show you how to fix pcsx2 stuck on black screen uh, while opening any game so let's get started as you can see i have pcsx2 nightly version and 1.7.5243 in 2024 so if you are using 1.7 then you can try uh, older version of uh, pcsx2 like 1.6 uh, so i have different solutions of this problem so first solution is uh, go to the game select your game directory first on your uh, on your pcsx2 so first of all right click the game and go to properties and you need to verify uh, the files of your game so you need to verify click here and you can see wait for some time while verifying the files of the game so it's done you can see status uh, so my uh, uh, game files are good and uh, playable uh, in my uh, PCSX2 and if your game files are corrupted or not good then uh, you can use another files of your games so this is first solution use another uh, file of the game on your PCSX2 so my game files are, are good so close it and the second solution is go to settings and go to graphics tab and restore default click here yeah click here restore default and click on yes and close it solution number three if you're still facing the issue then go to settings and go to graphics tab and go to render you can change your render backend like uh, directory 11 or 12 or open gl so you can try these options one by one if you have old uh, pc old laptop and you are trying to open any game in your pcsx2 and you are facing black screen while opening any game on your pcsx2 then you can try different uh, backend render uh, like OpenGL and directly directly 12 or 11 or Vulkan or software So my in my case I can choose Vulkan because Vulkan is better than OpenGL or directly 11 or 12 or software So if you want to use Vulkan in your PCSX2 then please update drivers for your uh, GPU device so I, I go to my uh, device manager to check already installed drivers uh, for my GPU device. So go to search bar on Windows and type here device manager. So go to device manager and press enter and you can see graphics and walk in and go to display adapter and this is my GPU device but click and drop these uh, yep, this is my display adapter. I am using only one GPU device in my PC. If you have multiple GPU devices, then you can choose your more powerful GPU device. But I have only one. Right click, go to properties and drivers. So guys, you can see already uh, installed drivers version and date over here. So if you have older version, then please update drivers for your GPU device first. So driver date uh, 4-11-2024 in 2024. So drivers are up to date already. And you can see uh, rendered Vulkan. So you can change your uh, adapter. Uh, click here and select your uh, uh, adapter. So I'm in GPU. So this is my adapter NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750. So if you have multiple, then you can choose your more powerful GPU or CPU. Uh, so it's done. And uh, if Vulkan does not work, then you can change like uh, OpenGL or uh, Directory 11. Or it's done. 
now close it and uh, if you're still facing the issue then you can change your settings from your uh, uh, control panel for your gpu like nvidia or amd or intel hd graphics right click and go to control panel so i have nvidia gpu so first of all we need to restore default settings yeah for here you can see uh, restore click here and click on yes and click on apply and for more settings go to adjustment settings and check this option and select performance from here and check this option and apply and for more settings go to your uh, configures around this option and select your more powerful gpu so this is my gpu device name and after selecting apply and go to manage 3d settings and scroll down and over here guys power management mod you need to select maximum performance texture filtering quality select uh, high performance from here scale down and uh, click here and select this one and click on apply and for more settings guys you need to select program settings from here click here and select your uh, application file for your pcsx2 click on add option and go to browse and go to the application file for pcsx2 so my pcsx2 in my desktop so this is my application file right click and open file location and select this pcsx2 KOT application file this one open and apply it's done and uh, if you have windows uh, 10 or 11 or above in future then you can uh, change your settings for your windows to get more performance right click and go to display settings and scroll down and go to graphic settings and remove your old application file browse and uh, go to the application file for pcsx2 select this application file add options options high performance and save now close it so i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you if you like it then please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching bye bye guys